If you're watching this video, because you're probably sitting on a bus to some wedding of this million miles away. Treat 
we had planned for tonight Avram Stuhlberger and Chaim Kaminsky, who are actually both here on the stage. I'm really sorry, believe it or not. It was, it was not simple, you know, because now that they've left Yeshiva and gone on to their $10 million Hollywood careers, where they command millions of dollars per picture, it was not simple to get them to lower themselves to appear on a stage together with the likes of just me and Schleimi. Because after all, after spending a whole year hearing about how me and Schleimi are the second greatest playwriters in the history of the yeshiva, except of course for Chaim Kaminsky and Adam Stilberger, no, no, one second, the second best playwrights in the history of the world, besides for Chaim Kaminsky and Adam Stilberger, but it's okay, we're not bitter or anything, we don't mind. We, have, we appreciate our position. Getting them to lower themselves was not simple, but unfortunately, that play has been canceled. Now the reason it was canceled is because, as you all know, the yeshiva is very mocked on a certain hashkaf in finances, that when the... Oh, she's cute, she can stay. Let's get that to the kid, come on! Give us a little girl! That when the yeshiva's debt equals its assets, it's necessary for yeshiva to close down. Now, till now, this has not been a problem because the yeshiva's debt has been far more than the assets. <laughs> Wasn't even close. But with the recent acquisitions in Two Gardens Hills, the yeshiva's assets have unfortunately been raised, and now the debt equals the assets. So unless we can bring the yeshiva... What? Chaim's here. Come on, Chaim. Come on up. So unless, unless the yeshiva can raise funds, we're going to have to close down. That is why tonight's Purim play has been canceled to bring to you our own RSA telephone. trying to get ourselves up to is Shia Zero. Then the move. Zero dollars. That's our aim tonight. We're just trying to get ourselves up to zero dollars. That's why we've prepared our operator standing by to take your calls on the phone number 1-900- 520-9645. Now, it's a 1-900 number, so it's $3 for the first minute, $10 for each additional minute. Now, don't feel bad about the money that you have to spend on the call, because that's also being used for a very, very special fund being started by the yeshiva for needy Kolo families who cannot afford their own beepers and cellular phones. There is absolutely no reason why they should have to be different than anyone else in the yeshiva. So please, let's get those phones ringing and let's get those pledges coming in. Because 1-900 520-9645. So that's our big dream goal. We're trying to get the yeshiva back up to zero. Let's hear those phones ringing. I know how you know this. money. This is great. I want to get up to you, Jeff. I can stand up to you. But I can't. RSA, why don't you? More ring, please. I'm sorry, it's a prop, man. That's so good on sound effects. Come on, man. Don't pick it up. I'm not. Sit down, man. Come on, man, you can't knock 
back at the phone. So what if it's for some high school kid or some cool old guy? I'm not running all over the building looking for someone. No way! It'll probably be for some guy on the third moon of Jupiter. Come on, man, they'll pick it up! It's a telephone! We have to raise money! Oh, fine. Hello? Yeah, hello. Is this Yeshiva? Yes. Yeah, can I talk to a Yankee Fliegenbaum, Steve? Oh, great. Oh, it's... I don't know who that is. He's, he's in the high school. <laughs> be right now? Um, yeah, well, he's in the high school. He's in ninth grade. He's probably in Sheer. But listen, one second. If he's not in Sheer, then he might be in English class. But one second, one second. If he's not in English class, then he could be on the roof. If he's not on the roof, if you check on the roof, check on the roof. If he's not on the roof, then he might be in a small box in the back of a deep closet on the third moon of Jupiter. I knew it! Look, I'm sorry, but we're in the middle of a very, very important telethon right now. I don't have time to look for Yankee Flegelbaum Steen for... Oh, come on, this is really, really, really important. I told you exactly where he is. All right, listen, no, 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 I know where he is, I remember. I think he's in a session right now talking to Rashiva privately. Could you do me a favor and pull him out of there? <laughs> No. Oh, come on, this is really important. All right, let's play is too long. <laughs> so could you take a message? All right. It's really important that you get the message, all right? Okay. Are you going to give him the message? Yeah. Don't just put it on the board. Find him and give it to him. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Tell, tell him. Hello. Hello. Are you still there? Yeah, tell him that the game was moved from 3.15 to 3 o'clock. <laughs> Maybe the next call will be a little better. Hello? Uh oh, hello? Uh, hello? Oh, thank you so much for answering. for the continental cuisine, an interior designer for the beautiful decor, 
Every one of your pledge dollars will go towards this extremely important cause that the yeshiva is running. For instance, your pledge of $50 would sponsor one bed in our dormitory. One tired yeshiva buffer after a long hard day of learning can rest his weary bones because of your $50. Your $250 would sponsor 10 beds in our dormitory. Your $500 will sponsor 25 beds in our dormitory. And your pledge of $1,000, as you've heard from about half the audience, because this line was obvious, that obvious, would sponsor one full dormitory room. Nice job on that one, guys. Now, the yeshiva, founded on Musser ideals and concepts, is well aware of the concept of Hakaras Hatov. Your pledges, the yeshiva will say thank you to you for your pledges by sending you small gifts as a token of our esteem and appreciation. Now, we're obviously not buying these gifts. No one would ask you to do that. This is a pledge for the yeshiva. But this is just our little way of saying thank you. Your pledge of $250, we will say thank you by sending you art scrolls Two newest books in the Rabbi Pesach J. Krohn Magid series, the very popular Magid series. In the very pop popular Magid series. Under the Magid's table! In the very pop, I'll say it again. Until I think of the next line, we'll just sit here. In the, ver in the, in the, in the very popular, with its Michelin and its Musser ideals. Number one is, in the Magid's way, and the stunning and important sequel, Get, get Out of the Maggot's Way. <laughs> and as an extra addition, a line which I got permission from Edward Crone to use personally, in the Art School Youth Series, The Maggot of Oz. <laughs> now, with your pledge of $500, the yeshiva will say thank you by sending you a very, very important English work. Written by some of the true stars in the yeshiva, founded on Musser ideals. This book is a very important book. Its weekly message that it sends you is something which will be extremely used, I'm really lost here, by you, and your children and your children's children for many generations to come. Travesty of man! I'm talking about the Tom Tove cookbook. <laughs> and finally, your pledge of $1,000 will bring to you the newest yeshiva videotape just recently put out, never before seen. Something which I think you'll enjoy if you have a VCR, whatever. And the name of the tape is Eternity for Foundation. Get the inside story as to why it's taken the yeshiva on eternity to lay the foundation for the new building. interviews and maybe we'll find out once and for all whose fault it really is. Now, while you're considering your pledges, we have prepared some entertainment for you to enjoy while you're considering how much you want to send to the yeshiva. As a special treat tonight, we have the world-famous cantor, Saul Rabinowitz, who will come out here and sing to you some of his favorite melodies. Cantor Saul, please. He's not here yet. He's not coming. He's 
called is not coming. Forget it. The can't is not coming. It's not coming. The can't is not coming. That's right. Okay. The can't will be out momentarily. <laughs> He's just in the back getting ready. Ellie. He's not coming. What you threw that for? He's not coming. He Say he'd rather die than come sit for a dump like this. <laughs> He has to come. He's not. I can't believe you got us into this. All right, listen, don't panic. I got it. You'll sing. That's right. You'll sing. sing. You'll be great. Come on back. I'm telling you, you're gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's easy. It's easy. It's no problem, all right? Come on back. We'll put you on one of these robes. We'll get one of them canter hats on you. You'll come out. You give a little speech, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It's no problem. You can handle it, right? All right. Okay. Good job, Ellie. Go for it. Um, la, la, um, uh, Ellie, 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 I hope this doesn't Ellie. scare my shit up. Ellie, come over here. <laughs> um, Ellie. Okay, the canter is going to be right out right away. Ellie, come back here. You're going to be the canter. Go back there and get dressed. You're going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, you give them a little, a little plug for the money, then you're going to sing the song. You know the song, right? You have a copy of the song. You're going to sing it. Get going. Get back there. All right. I can't do it. I can't do it. Come on, Ellie. you got to get out there. You messed up. You're going to go do it. I didn't. Why do I always mess up? I don't know. Why do you always mess up? I can't do it. I don't believe this. I set these things up for you. I pull you along. I do all the work, and you always fail me. Fine. I'll do it. Go out and stall them. I'll be out in two minutes. They won't know a thing. You just right. keep going out there. Um, I was set out here to stall you. I mean, entertain you until the, the, the cantor is ready, because he is here. If anyone tells you he's not here, it's a lie. Don't believe him, because he is here, okay? Ellie! He's in the back. He's getting ready. Ellie, Biatma! 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 I don't speak Aramaic. <laughs> All right, so the cantor is coming out right away. And um, maybe you could... Um, um, until he comes, maybe, um, Eternity for Foundation, oh, we did that one already, um, and, uh, okay, the Cantor is ready, willing, and able to perform. Cantor Rabinowitz, this is Cantor Rabinowitz, mind you, take it away. So torn, my friends, so broken hearted. 
and she doesn't know what to do. And a tear rolls down her face when suddenly she pulls out the document that her husband left her. And she beats one of them over the head with it. And she says, you idiot! My husband left me enough money to buy and sell all of you! I'm rich! You're losers! It does pull at the heartstrings, I know. But the bottom line is, Chazal are telling us a simple thing. Money is the bottom line. We have got to have the money. What? The money. We've got to have the money. Isn't that right? We've got to have the money. Now, as you know, I have a little song prepared. It's very famous. I'm sure you've all heard it on Compact Disc. <laughs> and um, I'd like to share it all with you right now. Not yet, in a minute. Right, wait, oh, Shabbat right now. The song is in the spirit of the evening, giving a little bit of recognition to an outstanding institution that I don't think gets nearly enough recognition from the Torah world. That's right, Turo College. <laughs>
phones ringing off the hook. I want to hear them ring. I want to hear those phones. Thank you, Cantor Rabinowitz, for that extremely moving rendition. Now, my friends, we're going to go back to the phones and see how we're doing on our pledges. If someone could please remove this drunk, I would appreciate it. That's smart, yes. Thank you. Now, thank you. Now we're going to go back to the phones and see how we're doing. That's right. Yes. One pie with everything, please. Anchovies, peppers, onions, uh, extra cheese. Zlotnik, put it on the yeshiva's bill. Zlotnik, no personal calls during the telethon. Sorry, sir. Send it right away. All right, let's see if we can get any new phone calls coming in. So I have a hard time on ring. Hello? Stop ringing, I picked up. Hello? Oh, uh, 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 hello, thanks for answering. Uh, can I please speak to uh, Beryl, uh, Beryl Blumenstein? Uh, I'm sorry, Beryl's not here right now. What, 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 what do you mean? He told me this morning he's going to Yeshiva. Well, uh, the, the truth is, he hasn't been around for a while. What, what, what do you mean, for a while? Uh, he, he went out for a coffee break six months ago. And, and, we, ha and we, haven't, we haven't seen him since. This is terrible. Where has he been for the past six months? I, I don't know, Mrs. Baumstein. Maybe a hot solo call? This is, this is awful. My entire marriage has been a great big lie. We've been living with total mistrust and falsehood. How can I go on? Well, if he does come in, just give me a message to call his wife. All right, Mrs. Baumstein. Hello! Yeah, hello. I've been watching your telethon. Really? Yeah, and I'm really, really impressed with your organization. Really? Yeah, I'm really impressed. The devotion to Arbutus Torah is awe-inspiring. But not just any Torah. Pure Torah, without any embellishment. Unadulterated, directly from Sinai. This is the level of institution I want to support. Wow. Great! How much did I put you down for? I'd like to pledge a thousand dollars towards your Mossad. That's wonderful! Yeah, I'll do it just like the guy on TV said. I'll make out my checker money order to the Rebbe is Mashiach campaign. I'll send it right into 778 in Chicago right away. Okay. Yeah. No, please! Hello? No, no, no! 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 <laughs> Well, Mendel, you keep at it on the phone. I'm sure we'll get a pledge. The yeshiva is a truly international organization. As you all well know, we're building the international headquarters. So, the beautiful center of America. I'm having a hard time with the drunk here, gang. Help me out. in the audience. <laughs> anyway, it's a truly into oh she can stay. She can stay. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's a truly international organization. We have branches all across the globe. Now for the first time ever on our telethon stage, we have brought to you a live satellite hookup with many of these branches all around the world. That's probably why we wanted to keep them. So, our Israel, the first branch we're going to hook up with is our branch in Eretz Israel. This spacious campus in the Sanhedrin Amorchavit section of Jerusalem is, desi is designed to house the many Talmudim this branch serves. 
Come in, Israel. Can you hear me, Israel? Come in. Yeah. Hello, Israel. You're too distant. I can't hear you. We're having some kind of faulty connection. Hello, Israel. Can you hear me? Hello. I can oh, hear that's you. Right. Hi. Hello, Israel. Yeah, hello. One second. We seem to have a very faulty picture here. <laughs> No, he always looks like that. <laughs> okay, Israel, I, I hear you now. We're in. It seems a bit static. What do you want? Well, first of all, just to give our audience a feel of the distance, what time is it over there? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. What do you want? <laughs> What kind of impact would you say the Israel branch is having on the surrounding community? What? <laughs> what kind of impact would you say the Israel branch is having on the surrounding community? Oh, we're having a very profound... Are these tips? <laughs> Very profound impact. <laughs> Absolutely. What direction would you say the branch is taking? Oh, uh, it's going very well. <laughs> um, yeah, we're expanding, we're expanding rapidly. We're starting a new cater. And uh, <laughs> yeah, now we're going to be reaching tons of palmito. Yeah, it's going really well. well. That's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to say now to your friends here in Forest Hills? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, keep, up, keep up the good work out there in Forest Hills, and, and thanks for the chips. <laughs> okay. Israel out. Thank you very much, Israel. What happened to the chips? <laughs> All right, now, there, in the history of the yeshiva, there have been a few true shooting stars. Men of extreme great distinction and great godless. Men whose Torah will light up the next generation. One such a man is our man who is running the Rochester branch of Palestine. Rabbi D, come on. Rabbi D! We have our representative in Rochester waiting to report back to us. Hello, Rochester. <laughs> Tell us, oh representative. What news have you found in Rochester to bring back with you to Forest Hills? Oh. I'm not coming back to Forest Hills. <laughs> what do you mean? We sent you to report back on the impact that Forest Hills is having through its branch in Rochester. We don't have any connection with any issue. <laughs> What are you talking about? Don't you realize that Rochester was started as a branch of the yeshiva here in Forest Hills? We never had any connection with that. <laughs> uh, all right, Rochester. Is, uh, is, is there anything uh, you'd like to say back to your friends here in Forest Hills? We don't have any friends. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can you get this camera out of my face? Uh, okay, I guess, uh, I guess that's it on Rochester there. Uh, now, another shining star in the Chavit Zion galaxy is our branch out in the Midwest.
out there in Milwaukee. going out there in Milwaukee? Oh, it's going really good. <laughs> uh, I really thought it was going really, really, really good. <laughs> Would you say that putting the yeshiva so close to a beer brewery <laughs> had has, any, had, has had any kind of impact on the school? <laughs> Let me hear the question, because I didn't say it to me. Would you say that putting the yeshiva near a brewery has had any kind of impact on the school? Tell me! You tell me! No! No! No, 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 no. We don't have any... We're, we're too busy... We're too busy drinking to have any time for the... No, 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 no. We're too... We're too learning... We're too, we are much, we're much too, too, two beers, we need two beers, two beers we need. All right, well, how would you say the yeshiva is doing? What? I said, how would you say the yeshiva is doing? What yeshiva? <laughs> North. Not often spoken of. 
Maybe you, some of you have heard of it. <laughs> that beer is just now starting to kick in real good. Our branch will now be brought to you live, our branch in Ottawa. Our branch. Now, let me tell you a little bit about our branch in Ottawa. Pull the table, what? Okay, our branch in Ottawa. Oh, evidently, we have no one in Ottawa. <laughs> one second. No, no, I don't see anyone out there. Oh, no, it's a lot of snow. That's it on Ottawa. Okay, just a lot of snow. That's all we're getting from Ottawa. Okay, thank you, Ottawa. LA. Anyway, um, the yeshiva has a few branches in outlying areas that some of you might not be as familiar with. But via our live satellite hookup, we can be transferred all around the globe. The new branch in India is not something that many of us are familiar with. We will now talk to our branch in India. Come in India. <laughs> Hello, India. I said, greetings and salutations to Forest Hills. How are you doing in India? Oh, we have to be doing splendidly, <laughs> with the utmost. How is the yeshiva doing? <laughs> it's yeshiva. It's a school for learning Torah. Ah, we do not have Torah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? All Jews have Torah. The yeshiva said so in the shmooze. <laughs> ah yes, this is to be very true, but we do not have any Jews. <laughs> No, we are not having any Jews. We have Hindus. We are worship. We have to worship in cows. Moo. <laughs> well, then I understand. What are you studying in India? Oh, we are just studying very, very hard. Well, if you don't have Torah, what are you learning very, very hard? Oh, we are just studying the servicing of Americans in 7-Eleven convenience stores. <laughs> If there are no Jews there, then tell me why would the yeshiva start a branch in India? Oh, I am not knowing. Perhaps it is to be some kind of work study job. <laughs> okay, thank you, India. Salam. <laughs> now, the last of our branches. Far off China, far off far system. Uh, no, LA. Thank God, LA. Sorry. And the far away system is a branch in the far, far east in China. Now, this branch's effects are being felt right here at home in Forest Hills because March 16th we're having a Chinese auction. We will now be going live to our branch in China. Hello? Hello in Forest Hills? Okay, I'm a little lost time on script. Ross? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, there we go. What would you say, China? Hello, China. Hello! <laughs> what would you say, how is the Yeshiva style of learning felt in China? Oh, learning! We are learning very slow. Very, very slowly. You say you learn slow. You say you learn slow? Right. What is slow exactly? Is that some sort of Chinese type of culture? No, no, no. We are, we are, we are learning slowly. <laughs> very, very slowly. What is 
be throw? Is, is throw some sort of Russian tables for something? What is throw? No, no, no. Not throw. Throw. Woo! I don't think it's part of the story. Sorry. Well, what kind of food would you say that they bring to you, like in the Chinese culture, is what I mean to say here? Ah, oh, very, very healthy. Fly lice. Watch fly lice. <laughs> you say you eat lice in China? No, no, no. Lice. Fly lice. Ah, oh, lice. That's, that's amazing. They eat lice. I had no idea that meal mart delivered so far. Thank you, China. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, the truth be told, Yeshiva does a great deal of work right here at home, at headquarters. We like to deal here at Yeshiva with the special children, the mentally impaired. We like to call them the Rosh Hashiva's kids. Chaim, please. Chaim, please. These are the poor souls we have to deal with here. Fifteen guys! Ik heb het gevoel dat ik het gevoel heb 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 dat
Ich kann das du nicht. Er kann größer, größer, aber es ist nicht, es ist no, no, no mehr hingelegt, es ist nur mehr hingelegt. Wirst du gehen? So what's the first thing you do? Of course, wir nennen da heute alle den Besitzer von all den Keys. Ich habe nur nur zwei Lieder. Ich habe 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 Tell me, son, do they teach you how to learn here? This man is saying that it's not my mistake and don't tell him. He's in charge. So, if you can, and if the other thing is, is it from the from the tier from the kitchen dog? I find it's like to get that's like the kitchen of English. We give him time to the kitchen. I'm gonna stop this. Miss Eight, and do shy. Du steigst auf dem Mesisse, der Hölle im Schamaya dort, es steigt ein Stück, es steigt es, wie ein Falter, wie ein Falter, wie ein Falter, wie ein Falter, wie ein Falter. Du, das ist der Meister schon hier, das ist der Meister schon hier, das ist der Meister schon hier. Aber du immer sagst das, ich weiß nicht warum. Das ist der Meister schon hier, das ist der Meister schon hier. Ich weiß nicht warum sie das sagen. Okay. I understand, I understand that uh, you are in a uh, uh, learn the liquid system. Bottom, bottom, everyone turn to the bottom of page 13. Oh, yeah. Tell me, do they, do they teach you how to learn there? They teach you how to learn there? Do you have to learn to say something? I can now learn a lot of things. I can now learn a lot of things. I can now learn a lot of things. No, no, no. I mean, do you learn the Pashim Pshat? Does the Yeshiva teach you plain Pshat? Plain Pshat? What's the treatment? What are you going to do with plain Pshat? What's the treatment of plain Pshat? What are you going to do? What are you going to do with that? Don't you understand? You have to learn from inside out. From outside in, from upside down, from right side up. I'm talking about the plain meaning of the word. You have to learn the plain meaning of the word. No, no, no. But it's Mr. Kaida. Kaida, I said, Kaida. Anybody in the office, don't No, no, no. Plain shot. Don't you understand? Let's try it this way. The shot that's plain comes only with great strain. No, 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 no. The shot. No. The. I can't manage the English stuff. <laughs> Shame as a fighter, I will gain much fame. <laughs> no, no, no. The shaft that's plain comes only with great strain. Uh, the shaft that's plain comes only with great strain. Uh, uh. Yes, again. Okay, very well. <laughs> and both the pad that's playing comes only with yeah, great strength. I think he's got it again. The pad that's playing comes only with great strength. And what do we use to say pushing shots? Our brains, our brains. And what do we do? We just say Torah. Uh, we're gonna be uh, only down the drain. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing to see. Thank you. Another new Talmud of Yeshiva ready to enter the block here. My son, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for you to hook yourself up into a Masora. To draw closer to the Rashiva, to try and grow and nurture yourself from his godless, to try and get every ounce of his hashkafa and his learning and his musr as much as you can. However, 
if you speak to the Rashiva on the wrong day, or at the wrong time, or at the wrong place, we'll rip your lips off. As this play has been dragging on forever, for one last time, we will go back to the phones. Yeah, that's right. Put five hundred dollars on uh, Racing Robin, okay? And yeah, don't worry, we got plenty of money coming in here. No men, men don't know personal calls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Um, are you raising money for a school that trains rabbits? <laughs> that, that's right. We're already training hundreds of rabbis. Hundreds? Oh my! Yes, we're very proud. <laughs> oh, you must be. Those rascal equipment must be so hard to train. Yes, yes, that's true. In fact, it takes 14 years to train one rabbi. Well, I think you'll be satisfied with the finished product. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> so is your community interested in giving a home to one of our fine rabbis? Oh, we certainly are. Do you have one available? Well, well, there are several who might be interested in the position. We'd like to set up an interview to... Several? Wonderful! I'll be right over! Wait! Uh, wait, wait! Just what kind of community do you live in? Community? I don't live in a community. Commu I don't live in a community. I'm a wall. I'm a fierce hunter. A hunter? What could you use could you possibly have for a rabbi if you're a hunter? Oh, I'm gonna blow his brains out! <laughs> what? what? You wanna kill a rabbi? That's right, <laughs> but not right away. I went for the thrill of the chase. <laughs> you know, you and Paula Bottom are all the same. You make me sick. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yellow? Yellow? Uh -huh. Yeah, hello? 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 Can you hear me? Yes! Is that the telephone? Yes! Yeah, I've been watching and I think your institution is great. Wonderful! How much can I, do you want to give? Well, I'm prepared to donate two million dollars to your institution. Get out of here! Who is this? Moshe Reichman? No. My name's Ira Kukin and I'm ready to give two million dollars. <laughs> We don't have time for games. That's Kukin, and I'm not playing games. I have a $100 million chemical company, and I'm ready to give you $2 million. Do you want it? Listen, Cucumber, we don't have time for prank calls. No one makes a $100 million in chemicals. I said that's Kukin, and this is not a prank call. I want to support you people. Listen, Cukin, we don't need support from movies who want to play with the phone. Fine. You don't want my money? You're not going to get my money. I'll give it all to Harvard. Goodbye. And now, for our final scene, we promise. Sorry about that. The yeshiva has a full train staff towards the raising of money. And we have, in fact... Yeah, we have here our man, our executive director in charge of fundraising, and an honorary Muslim, Harab Binyamin Simon Schlieper. Welcome, Rabbi Simon. How you doing there? Rabbi Simon, I understand you are extremely successful in your efforts to raise money for the yeshiva. Let's do all right. 
how do you convince people to give so much money? I don't know, I just asked. And, and, and they give it to me. What if they refuse? They don't never refuse. What is your secret? I guess it's my warm personality and pleasant demeanor. Really? What? You don't think I have a warm personality and pleasant demeanor? Uh, no, 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 sir. It's the warmest and very pleasant, sir. Uh, uh, some people, uh, they don't think I have the warm personality. Some people don't like my personality. Really? What happens to them? Uh, the, the doc said the last guy's gonna get out of the hospital in a couple weeks. Uh, I see what you mean, Brother Simon. So. You see, some people have a hard time seeing things eye to eye. I think I see what you mean, sir. So sometimes I have to raise them up to my level. I see, yes, sir, I see. Now I think I see these eye to eye with you. Dancing. I can't even call this